Hi. Now you're going to be called upon many times to simplify algebraic fractions as you see here. And lots of people make mistakes on this kind of thing. I see it all the time. Like for instance this one here. Quite often you'll get people wanting to cancel out this 4 into the 8 and writing a 2 there. Or like in this one just crossing out the 3 x's or in this one crossing out the x squareds. You don't want to fall into that trap, okay? You don't want to make that mistake. No, what you've got to do is realize that you can only cancel out in any of these kind of fractions common factors. So let me show you. Like for this one, what we've got on the top is two terms, the 6x and the 8. We've got one term on the bottom, that's fine, okay? But you must have one term always on the top and the bottom. And in this one, as I say, we've got a couple of terms, 6x and 8. But we can make one term out of this by factorizing it. We can say that this is identical to pulling out a common factor of 2. 2 goes into 6x and 2 goes into the 8. So we can write this as 2 bracket 3x plus 4. And then on the bottom we've got our 4. Now on the top we've got one term now. Okay, It's made up of two factors. The 2 and the 3x plus 4. Two factors. And in the bottom we've got one term. And you can think of this 4 as made up of two factors as well. 2 times 2. So they share a common factor, a 2. All right. So we can cancel by 2. We can say 2 into 2 goes 1 and 2 into 4 goes twice. So what we're left with is 3x plus 4 over 2. Now whether you write the 3x plus 4 in brackets is totally up to you. I'm going to leave it out though and just simply say over 2. And there you go. 3x plus 4 over 2. Now you've got two terms on the top, one term on the bottom. You cannot cancel this 2 into that 4. Okay, So that's the end of simplifying number 1. Okay, Let's just go on to number 2. Now I picked this example because we've got a couple of terms in the top, a couple of terms in the bottom. Okay, can't cancel until we create one term on the top, one term on the bottom. And we can do that by factorizing the top. Now, this has got a common factor, a common factor of x. So we can pull that out as x bracket x minus 3, giving x squared minus 3x. So we've got one term on the top now made up of two factors, the x and the x minus 3. The bottom has got two terms. We need to factorize it to create one term. And we can see that there's a common factor here of 3. So you can pull the 3 out and get x, um, x yep, minus 3. Now, one term on the bottom made up of two factors, the 3 and the x minus 3. And you can see we've got a common factor now, x minus 3. So we can cancel this out x minus 3 into x minus 3 goes 1 and x minus 3 into x minus 3 also goes 1. I'd always suggest by the way that you do write these ones in. If you leave them out it kind of looks like you made a mistake. All right. So when you cancel them out just put ones there. All right. Simplify this. Just write it out as x over 3. There you go. That's that one simplified. Now number three, okay, it's still much the same kind of thing. We've got three terms on the top, okay, x squared, 3x and minus 10. A couple of terms on the bottom, x squared and the minus 25. Can't cancel out until we've got that one term on the top, one term on the bottom. Now the top factorizes. It's a couple of brackets. I'll leave it up to you just to check it. x minus 2, x plus 5. So we've now got one term made up of two factors, x minus 2 and x plus 5. Factorize the bottom. Now this is what we call the difference of two squares type. Okay, You've got that x squared is the square of x. 
you've got the difference, the minus sign here, and 25 is the square of 5. So this comes out as x plus 5 and x minus 5, the difference of two squares. And again, you'll notice now we've got a common factor, and it's x plus 5. Those two cancel. So what does that leave us with? Just simply x minus 2 over x minus 5. x minus 2 over x minus 5. You don't need the brackets, but again, it's up to you if you want to put them in. But you cannot cancel out these x's because you've now got two terms. Two terms on the top, two terms on the bottom. OK? Last one. OK, it's still much the same as the ones that have gone before. Three terms on the top, three terms on the bottom. Need to factorize. And again, if I leave that up to you to just check it out, you should find the top comes to x plus 2 and x minus 3. And when it comes to factorizing the bottom, you're going to have x plus 5 multiplied by x plus 2. Again, common factors now, x plus 2, x plus 2. So again, draw write in those ones, OK? So simplify that. You've got x minus 3 all over x plus 5, OK? You'll notice I've written in these identical signs as well, as opposed to equals. You should really get into that habit of writing identical signs rather than equals, OK? We're not dealing with an equation here. Okay, well that brings us to the end of this tutorial and I hope that uh, you found it of some use, okay, and that you don't fall into those common mistakes.